So far, we have spent a lot of time talking about prenatal development and early postnatal development from infancy, childhood, and adolescence. However, development is a lifespan process, so we will now change gears and talk about growth during adulthood and aging. The period of growth and maturation ends in the late teens and early 20s. Some individuals may continue to grow slightly into their 20s. Moreover, some body segments continue to grow slightly. For example, trunk length may increase into the late 40s. As you see from the height chart on the right, from age 20 to almost age 80, both males and females tend to decrease in height. This decrease can be due to compression of connective tissue, particularly the intervertebral discs in the spine. A calcium deficiency and a lack of weight-bearing exercises can lead to osteoporosis and will result in a decrease in height and bone density. This decrease in bone density makes bone breakages more likely. Therefore, those with osteoporosis have higher incidences of hip and wrist breakages in older age. The loss in height is also more obvious in those with osteoporosis. With respect to weight, adults gain weight and excessive body fat in their early 20s. This increase in weight and body fat is due to lifestyle factors like diet and exercise. However, with good nutrition and exercise, some individuals increase muscle mass, decrease fat mass, and maintain height throughout adulthood. The maintenance of the status and size of the body continues into adulthood and through aging. The changes in height, weight, and other anthropometric measures we have discussed are due to extrinsic factors or lifestyle factors like diet, exercise, disease, and even hormone levels. Healthy lifestyles are not only important for individual structural constraints like body composition and anthropometrics, but more importantly, also impact an individual's physical function like the performance of activities of daily living, and mental health and brain functions. Let's summarize what we've discussed with respect to adulthood and aging. First, adults typically exhibit a slight decrease in height from 20 to 80 years. Second, adults typically exhibit an increase in weight over the same period of time. Third, the maintenance of postnatal growth during adulthood and aging is dependent on extrinsic lifestyle factors including diet, nutrition, and exercise. These lifestyle factors are important for combating diseases like osteoporosis and other age-related tissue breakdown. These lifestyle factors are also important for maintaining an adult's functional capacity.